Hey guys, uh, this is Clarence here today to talk about the Niger triggerfish and just uh, triggerfish in general. Now, contrary to popular belief, which is um, triggerfish are not reef safe, um, just look around. Obviously, some of them are, um, especially the Niger triggerfish. A lot on websites uh, that sell these fish online, you'll see that they, they say they're not reef safe. And that reason being is because uh, they might eat some uh, invertebrates in your tank, such as uh, like small crabs, maybe some uh, some hermit crabs, maybe some snails. They might chip on that. But I've heard stories that they just uh, kind of tear up your corals, which is, at least in my experience, has never happened before. Um, the only bad thing I've seen them do is maybe uh, once uh, try and get at a snail, but... Obviously snails have shells and once they're attacked they just kind of hide and wait for them to go so as long as you keep them fed your trigger fish should not mess with anything in fact um, I heard a story once about um, these trigger fish with their it has to do with uh, their mouths on how they're aggressive so um, um, like for example, you'll see the clown trigger fish. It has a very, very uh, large mouth. It's pointed out, and it's known to be a very aggressive trigger fish. However, if you look at the blue blue chin trigger fish, it has a very inward pointed mouth, and that is probably the only trigger fish that websites will tell you that is reef safe. Now, the reason why they don't like telling you that some of these trigger fishes are reef safe is because um, these fish actually have a personality to their own and they're actually kind of shy at first um, when you get him for the first week he'll just hide in his rock and he won't go anywhere and he might come out once in a while to get some food but then he'll hide again and then you know he'll come out more and more and then he'll end up swimming around all over the tank like this guy is doing right now <clears throat> but the, contra the, the popular belief that trigger fishes will go after your corals and tear them up is false. I've never seen my trigger fish do anything at corals. I've seen them attack um, one of these feather duster worms when they were out and he just kind of like uh, pecked that one, but he didn't really try to tear it up or anything. He was just kind of scared because that was when we first got him and we kind of put it right here in front of where he lives which is in this crevice so just want to let you guys know that these trigger fish are actually very awesome fish to have and if you keep them fed right they shouldn't go after your invertebrates um, unless they they uh, they go inside of their homes that's what they'll like this little this little crevice this little cave in there that's his house if anything goes in there he's going to push it out maybe kill it I don't know but but uh, he I've never seen him actually like go around looking for hermit crabs to to chomp on you know to have a nice snack on that being said do not get the more aggressive trigger fish uh, like the clown trigger fish um, that one especially because those I've heard really bad stories about um, he just goes after whatever he sees but if you want a trigger fish in your reef tank, which is what most people want, something with corals, then you will want either a blue chin trigger fish or a niger trigger fish. And those guys, yes, they like to be the boss. Um, but as you can see here, he's the largest fish in my tank. And he's not going around killing any of them, which is kind of surprising because I have some uh, some fire fish back there but they like to hide a lot because whenever they come out the trigger fish kinda lets them know he's the boss but they're very very peaceful fish and they they don't cope very well with that so maybe that's where they say it's not reef safe but if if you have some fish that are kinda of tough like this tomato clown back there or these damsel fish you know they don't they really don't care <laughs> um, you can definitely keep a trigger fish in your tank. And right now he's getting a little clean jump from the fire shrimp back there. So um, that's it guys. Uh, just uh, remember to like this video and subscribe. 
And um, if you like trigger fishes as much as I do, definitely get one for your tank. Another note is, I'm sorry about that, if you're trying to get a trigger fish, always get him last because that one week period I was talking about where he hides behind the rock, um, if you get him first and he's the only fish in there and then you add the smaller fish in, he's going to say, uh-uh, no, this is, uh, this is my tank, you get out and then he might get in some fights. But if you get everything beforehand, like some corals where he's used to that, all your, your tank janitors, your, your hermit crabs, your, your, your snails and all that, where he's used to seeing them when he first comes in, then he won't mess around with them. But if you put him in there first, and you, if you put him in there first and uh, you add on fish later, especially if they're smaller than him, then there might be some problems. However, if you get him last, where everybody's already here, already has a life, and he's just a new addition, then he shouldn't mess around with anything and he will be a good neighbor. So that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, have a good day.